even if you are a regular gym goer and you know how to navigate yourself around these crowds, it could still be stressful to you. You're walking in with a plan and now you're not able to execute that plan. That's a stress and that stressor is going to cause a hormonal shift inside you. And that hormonal shift is going to have a negative impact on whatever it is that you're trying to achieve from that facility. If you're trying to burn fat, your ability to burn fat decreases. If you're trying to put on muscle, depending on the stress levels, it might hamper it completely. You wouldn't be able to put on muscle no matter how much effort you put into it. Keeping in mind that you joined the gym in the first place in order to help you on your journey, if you're getting a negative impact, something that's physically holding you back, then that's hardly positive, is it? It's hardly helping you move forward. So it might only happen a few times out of the year, but if it does happen, it's going to be a negative impact. And it's something that's worth keeping in mind, especially if you're someone who doesn't really like crowds. I'm one of them. I don't like being in crowded environments. I don't like going to big concerts. I've never been to a festival. I don't even like going into crowded shops. It's just something that's inbuilt within me. I will avoid them if possible. I can do it. I can go into them if I need to, but I, I, I don't like it. I don't feel comfortable. And if you're someone that doesn't feel comfortable in that environment, then if you walk into it and then you leave, when it's time to go again, then you're going to find any excuse under the sun not to go. Oh, Auntie Molly, you need a, a lift to the shops? Absolutely, I'll need to do that. I'll just have to miss the gym today. You just come up with any excuse whatsoever not to go because it's uncomfortable. And why would you want to go and do something that feels uncomfortable to you?